Hi Frank, you must be so excited and relieved to finally have this fight on. How many problems did you have? Well, we had lots. Uh, first of all, we, you know, we asked back in January, early January, that the Boxing Border Control put it out what we call for short-term purse bids within seven days that, so that we could get the fight on quickly. And they didn't do that. And uh, a guy, a promoter called Dave Colwell won the purse bid. But unfortunately, he couldn't get it together, so it's been a lot of delay. And for the last month, three, four weeks, I've been trying to get this fight on with Adam Booth, who's the manager of George Gross. Um, and it, it was, you know, it was sometimes very, very frustrating, but persevered and eventually we got there. Do you think the bids put in by Groves and, and his team were genuine or stalling tactics for the fight? Well, they didn't put the fight on, so you've got to, re, you know, read, read between the lines and look at how you, how you, how you feel you should. Um, the, prob the thing is now, it is on. It's part, it, you know, it's on, it's part of a really big show with Nathan Cleverley and Jürgen Brayman's uh, WBO, like heavyweight title fight. Fabulous night for the fans, and I'm sure they're not going to be disappointed with it. Obviously, we saw it was a very fiery press conference. We saw a lot of rivalry between uh, Groves and DeGale. Have you seen a sort of rivalry like that between two British boxers in a long time? Yeah, uh, you've got a lot of that with, um, with Nigel Benn and Chris Eubank. And uh, this is not just something that's happened just for this fight. I mean, these guys have been sort of, uh, I think, for a, the term of bitter rivals is not is not uh, me being dramatic, but they've been bitter rivals since the amateur days. A lot of history between the two of them. And uh, come the 21st of May, I think it's going to be an explosive night. It's not just about, you know, the British and Commonwealth title. It's they both come from West London. And I think who's going to be the boss of West London? Who's going to be the guy? Who's going to come through this? Who's going to be the fellow who can walk around the street saying that, you know, I'm the man? And that is how what it boils down to with them. And I think that, as I say, on the night, I think we're going to see some some really dramatic and explosive action between the two of them. I mean, it's been potentially moved from different venues. Now got it at the O2. That's a fantastic, obviously, um, it's going to have a fantastic venue and atmosphere. How excited are you for it to be there? Well, I'm very excited it's there. You know, as I say, it's a fa fabulous venue. We've put some great shows on there in the past, and, uh, and I'm sure this will be up there with them. And as I say, you know, with, uh, with Nathan challenging for the world title in a real tough, tough fight. He's fighting Jürgen Bremer, who's, uh, you know, I think one of the one of the best light heavyweights out there who's, who was world was the world champion amateur champion not only was the world amateur champion he had two fights with Ricky Hatton beaten both times and knocked him out in one round in one of the fights he's beaten Carl Frock so this guy's got great amateur pedigree great professional pedigree and I think that he's going to you know it's going to be a tough fight for Nathan but I think it's one that he can come through and if he comes through I believe that Nathan's going to go on and become a star. Obviously that was rescheduled quite a few dates as well do you think that affects a boxer's preparations when he's obviously geared up for a date? It, it does it, of course it does you know you, the anticipation of it, you know it's not just physically getting there it's also mentally getting yourself prepared and uh, you know they've had to do that but that's what boxing's about you know things happen but you know Brahm has had a lot of problems back in his home country hopefully they're all behind him now and we can uh, look forward to a great fight. You've got some great fights you also said have you got any sort of you said you are the world title fights anything that you can tell us? We No we're going to reveal some more big fights next week and uh, as I say for the fans they're going to be in for a treat it's on Sky Box Office if you can't get a ticket so uh, make sure you're watching on, on the 21st of May be there or watch it on Sky Box Office it's going to be a fab fabulous night of boxing. We can't wait thank you very much. Thank you.